Hi again! In this video, we will talk about the core aspect for an intelligent and personalized voice assistant – context awareness. Right now, we already can communicate with our voice assistant in the natural language. However, to reach the human level, our voice assistant must understand the app context. In the human world, context is something that lets people fully grasp the message in the conversation, like the speaker's pose, gestures, and the environment around. To drive a successful conversation, our digital assistant must also understand what is currently going on in the app, like what page is currently open, what options are enabled or disabled, and so on. We can get information about the app context with Alan's set visual state. This is a client API method that lets you send a JSON object describing the app state to the voice script. With this data at hand, our voice assistant will be able to conduct a more robust and personalized conversation with the user. In this tutorial, we will let our voice assistant know what screen is currently open in the app, so that it can respond to the user in a proper way. This time, we'll start in the app. First, let's add some code for the root observer. With it, we will be able to track all transitions between the screens, both when we navigate in the app by giving voice commands or tapping the buttons. We'll register the root observer in the app and in the material app constructor. And get to our second widget. First, we'll make it root aware. And add the default methods required to subscribe and unsubscribe from the navigation events. We can type them or simply copy them from the root observer documentation page. The basic logic is nearly set up. We need to add two more methods. Did push to learn when the user switches to the second screen and the root is pushed to the stack. And did pop to learn when we get back and the root is removed from the stack. Now let's define the setVisuals function with our setVisualState method. With it, we can pass any data that needs to be sent to the voice script. In our case, we'll send the information about the screen that is currently open in the app. And we'll call this function from our did push and did pop methods and pass the necessary screen name to it. We'll pass the first value when the first screen is open and second for the second one. We also need to add this function to the first widget and call it at the initialization stage when the widget is inserted into the widget tree. Here, with our setVisualState method, we'll pass the first value. The information about the current screen is now saved to Alan's visual object. Let's see how we can use it in our dialog. First, we'll add a new intent to get different responses depending on the screen open. We will check what is available in the pVisualScreen variable and play a response applicable to the first or second visual state. Or the default response in case no visual state is sent from the app. Let's check it. What can I do here? This is the home screen. You can increment the counter here. What can I do here? This is the product details screen. You can get all the info here. The visual state can also work as a filter in the dialog, meaning we can add voice commands that should function on specific screens only. Let's update our navigation commands to make sure they work on the home and the product details pages, respectively. Here, we'll use the visual state as a filter that will come first in our intents. Let's check it on both screens now. Open the product details. Opening the second screen. Open the product details. I can't do this. Go back. Opening the home screen. Go back. Sorry, it's beyond my abilities right now. With the context of a voice assistant, your app will provide advanced and personalized user experience. Learn more at alan.app.